Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up an SSH server on a Mac and also connecting to that SSH server. So what I have here are two Macs. I'm on the green background Mac and I'm remoted in to the uh, green backgrounded Mac. So on this remote Mac, so ideally like if um, you're in an office or something, you can just walk up to the Mac. You don't have to remote into it, but it's just easier for me to film this way. So I'm going to enter full screen here. So right now I'm on the remote Mac. So what I want to do is open up system preferences. So I'm just gonna hit command space to bring up the spotlight search. And I'm just gonna type sys and system preferences will come up. And then I'll want to go over to sharing and I'll click on remote login here. And that will enable SSH. And you'll see here it says to log into this computer remotely, type SSH, a RIC site at, and then it has my IP address, okay? So as opposed to using this IP address, you can also use this, um, it's this uh, bonjour name. On mine, it's mbp.local, and you could change that up here. Sometimes that can be unreliable, but IP address almost always works. And then down here, you can allow access for all users or only these users. So I have administrators set right now. So I'll exit this here. I can move this out of the way. There we go. Okay, so I'll type command space, and I'll open up Spotlight, and I'll type in terminal and open the terminal up. Make this a little bigger here. And now I can type SSH space RIC site at 192.168.7.176. So this is the same thing it told me on the other Mac. I'll hit enter here. So it'll say the authenticity of the host and it has the IP address can't be established. And then it has a fingerprint here and it says, are you sure you want to continue? And I'll type in yes. And then I'll type in my password. And that's just your login password for the account which I apparently didn't type right. And now we're on the remote machine. So at this point, we can look around on the other machine. So I can type ls, and that will list out my directories. I can type cd, space, downloads. Type ls here, it looks like I don't have anything in my downloads directory. I could type touch, space, file.txt. And then if I go back to my remote machine over here, I open up Finder, <laughs> and go into my downloads folder, you'll see I've created a file here, remotely over SSH. And the nice thing about SSH is it encrypts everything, so it's a secure protocol to use to remotely access a machine. Back in the day, people used to use Telnet, and it wasn't secure, so Telnet is obsolete now. You should be using SSH. So this was the basics of turning on SSH and using it to log into a remote machine. I'll be making some other videos talking about some other features of SSH. If you have anything you want me to cover, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.